everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a returning favourite by Yankee Candle called Christmas at the Beach. Um, this is quite a sought after candle, there's quite a lot of people that want the original pour and they pay quite a lot of money for it. But this year because Yankee Candle re-released it I thought I'd get one and see what all the hype was about basically. Um, so as you can see it's a large jar, this is the only way they do this at the moment as in Christmas at the Beach. You can only get it in the 22 ounce large jar. Um, it's, it's retailing for $23.99 on the Yankee Candle website, uh, 150 hour burn time as usual with the single wick. Um, let me just turn the lamp off so you can see what it looks like properly. So you can see there it's just a sort of off-white colour. Um, on a cold sniff it just stinks of pineapple, um, which obviously when you're buying all the Christmas scents it then seems really odd that you open one and it's got a pineapple smell. It's not it's not quite what you'd expect but obviously Christmas at the beach isn't going to be a normal Christmas scent but yeah it's it's been a lovely burn um the notes for it are pineapple with cilantro coconut apple orange violet basil green ivy and vanilla and it also says herbal as well um for me the cold sniff was lovely but I was a bit hesitant I didn't know if it was going to be as good once I started burning it but I can confirm that if you've always wondered what the hype about Christmas at the Beach is, there's definitely a reason for it. It, abs it, it is a very, very, very strong candle. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for the throw. It makes the whole house really, really smell. And obviously, if you're not into all the Christmas scents, this is a really good candle for you to get because it isn't Christmassy in the slightest. Um, the pineapple and the coconut are the main notes of this for me. That's all I'm really getting when it's burning. Um, you can see there, it looks like I've only pulled it a little bit there, but this is already the third time that I've been burning it. And the smell is still so strong, even on the third burn. It's just, if you like the summery scents, then this is definitely a Christmas candle for you if you're not keen on all the cinnamon sort of scents and the peppermint scents. This is purely just pineapple and coconut. It's quite a fresh smell, but I can see that it would be quite overpowering in a small room. So just take that in con into consideration. Like if you do get this because you love coconut or pineapple smells, that for how strong it was in like my downstairs area, it's I can imagine it being quite overpowering. But I'm just really pleased to say that it's another Yankee candle now that's been really good. Obviously, I went through a bit of a dry spell where every Yankee candle I was burning was rubbish. <laughs> but this one, they've come back with this one and I absolutely love it. Um, it's really enjoyable. It's really strong. Obviously, to, for, my only preference would be I would rather burn it in summer because to me, Christmas, I like Christmas scents. So, um, lovely, lovely candle. But just do not buy it if you are expecting anything remotely Christmassy. This is more of a summer candle. But absolutely lovely, really good throw, consistent in the, the scent of it all. It's been lovely. So yeah, definitely if you can get your hands on this, because obviously it's a returning favourite, so I don't know how long it will be on for or if they'll do it again. But definitely try and get your hands on one if you are keen on the sort of summery, fresh, um, coconutty smells or pineapple-y smells. I wouldn't go for it if you're expecting any of the other scents to come through, because those two scents were just the strongest out of all. Um, but thank you for watching and I'm really glad Yankee Candle seemed to finally be rolling out some really good candles. But thank you for watching and I'll get some new reviews out for you soon.